My name is Claire Resort. I'm a self painting artist from Northwest Georgia. I grew up in France in a small town in the Loire Valley called Chateaudun, and I moved to the United States in 1988. Silk painting is a medium that was uh, popular in my country, so that's where I learned the basics when I was a teenager. I fell in love. Uh, it's so dynamic that I wanted to uh, always do it. So why silk? Well, because silk is very thin. It's a, actually a very strong fabric, but it's thin. So when you stretch the silk tight on a frame and you start applying runny inks on this silk, the ink wants to spread very fast. It's a super dynamic medium that's unique and produces very amazing gradients and different effects that I think cannot be reproduced on any other medium. The inks I use on silk are made for silk. They're very runny, so that they will spread on a taut fabric, especially silk. Silk painting is a four-stage process. Once I establish my theme with a sketch, a rough sketch on paper, I stretch a piece of silk. That's step number one. Step number two is to draw gutta lines. Gutta is spelled G-U-T-T-A. Gutta is a type of glue made for silk, and it's what we call a resist. So the gutta lines stop the spread of the ink on stretch silk. Step number three is actual painting. So I use runny inks that are water-based to do the painting. Step number three adds the color. Once my piece is finished, I remove the painted silk from the frame and there's a fourth step that is crucial to silk painting. Because the inks are water-based, the silk pieces have to be steamed in order to set the colors. So this happens in a specially made steaming tower made out of steel. The steaming tower holds a batch of silk. It's like a kiln for silk painting. Once I have everything gathered, I roll it in white paper and I hang it in a steamer with a basin full of water at the bottom. In this basin is a resistance that heats the water and creates steam. So basically, the batch of silk ends up bathing in steam for three hours at 200 degrees, and that sets the colors, which means that at the end, when I unroll everything, and I can actually rinse the pieces and press them, and the colors are set. The other thing the steaming does is kind of dissolve the lines of glue so that the silk is smooth at the end when I'm finished. Nature is a big inspiration uh, for my work because I have a deep concern about the environment, but also because I'm, I'm bathing in nature every day. To me, being an artist means being a witness. It means observing what's going on around us and recreating something that I want to share with the wider public. Silk painting is pretty detailed work, and I have to say, I have messed up pieces before. That's part of the learning curve. One key thing is to not get discouraged when you do something that you don't really like. I think it's important to not give up and forge on and learn from mistakes. To me, silk painting is a metaphor for the ever-changing world we live in. Nothing's permanent, so when I paint, I actually go with the flow of my inks. And so in the end, the result is actually inspired by the way I try to lead my life. My best advice for somebody starting with the arts and wanting to deepen their practice is discover, then persevere. <laughs>